You may have heard it said that there are three things you don't talk about at a party. The three things named are politics, religion, and money. It's interesting how these three things can cause division more often than building relationships. These prove to be areas found deeper in our hearts as beliefs. When we encounter differences here, the conversation tends to stop or just simply go badly. And so it was in 2017 when a new milestone of division occurred in American politics, most notably between Democrats and the GOP. Facebook's relationships were among the first to suffer as many who expressed views on one side or the other found themselves unfriended and unfriending those who disagreed. Sadly, the division began to separate families from one another as they began to compare their views with each other. But in Texas, there was an event that eliminated such divisive comparisons and actually brought people together in living as compatriots. The event was Hurricane Harvey, and the aftermath of political comparisons stopped as neighbors started helping neighbors. One such neighbor commented, one of the blessings of all this sad destruction is that we all forgot where the aisle was and stepped into the common living room together. While many of you may not have experienced directly Hurricane Harvey, may I suggest one time that seemed to be more of a country-wide experience? September 11th, 2001. The tragedy from that terrorism was truly evil, and while the acts of those responsible are reprehensible, there were a few twinkling star moments that stood out against that deep darkness. One of which was the incredible resurgence of patriotism. It was palpable and something that I hadn't felt together with fellow compatriots for many years before and sadly, many after. Comparisons were dropped and we stood together as Americans. While nationalism is not to be a higher goal over that of true Christian unity, the scriptures do encourage us to quiet divisive comparisons in order that we might achieve peace with compatriots as well as foreigners. Romans 12, 18 says, encourages us that wherever, whenever it is possible, and within our responsibility, we are to live at peace with all people. So moving from divisive comparison to living at peace with compatriots and all people for the sake of sharing Jesus, this is discipleship. It's following Jesus, being changed by Jesus, and being committed to the mission of Jesus. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, you told us that your kingdom was not of this world. You said that while you were here among us and pointed it out and you lived it out. And yet you came to bring not this whole idea of having divisive argument, but you came as the Prince of Peace. And the only division that stands is whether or not you would be accepted as Savior. We thank you for giving us the faith to receive that salvation. And we ask that you would help us to do as you have exhorted us in this scripture, to live as compatriots, to not live with comparisons, but to live as fellow statement, living together in this country, that we would have peace. And we pray that in those moments of peace, you would give us opportunity to lift you up high so that people would see you and that we could find true unity with faith in you. We ask this in your son's name.